never want to lock you down I know you're not mine, it's just my turn But we can still have fun for now No, I never want to play happy family What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Leos? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. I just want to let you guys know it is a true honor being here giving you guys these messages and I pray that they fall upon your hearts in the way that remind you that you are the one that has the power in your life to make the decisions to find the inner guidance and no matter how hopeless the situation seems if you're able to spend time with yourself and to experience the situation in its entirety and let those emotions leave you you will find an answer so with that being said, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And guys, today we are going down the rabbit hole with an entirely different style worth reading. There will be no timestamps today because we are just going to get right into it. So we're going to see what it is that Source has for you, what messages are coming out for you. And I feel like there's a bit of a concern here. I feel like you want to move forward in something, but you're worried because you're not sure of the outcome. You're not sure of what's coming next. And maybe there's too many options for you. There could very well be too many options. And there's this sense of just reminding yourself that you have the power and the strength to move forward. You have the power and the strength within you to be the hero in your life, to be the one that's stable in where it is that you're going and to allow yourself to do that. Don't get caught up in the worldly possessions. Don't get caught up in the whys, the hows, and the whats. Just do what you know you need to do and that way then you can move forward, okay? So the channel message is coming right off the bat. I do definitely feel there's a sense of wanting to move. You're ready to change your fortune around, absolutely, and gain some sense of stability. And they're saying not to be afraid to feel the emotions that you have, that you maybe have pushed aside within you because something big is about to come up. But Source, what other messages do we have for Leo here? How can we help out Leo on the journey? What messages do we have for Leo coming in? All right, thank you, Source. Let's see what comes out for you today, Leo. How can we help out Leo? What messages do we need for Leo? Okay, thank you. Right off the bat. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. Um, there's definitely this energy of somebody not being able to communicate the way that they need to. Uh, fear of the way things have happened in the past. I am getting that this could be connected to a relationship as the Page of Swords comes out. <laughs> Hold on just a second, guys. Sorry, guys. I did not realize this was not in frame. Let me pull these down a little bit here. Trying to get them in frame. I may have to move you back a little bit. Ah, that's better. That's better. Okay. Yeah, so I just feel like there's this sense of not being able to communicate strongly in a situation. Because this is very immature. This is like not speaking your truth this is somebody that emotionally reacts to things instead of responding to things and there's definitely this sense of like having a passionate beginning with somebody in the past and it did not go the way that you wanted and so now it's like i can't offer any kind of communication to somebody that's offering me this sense of love like and the page is is it's a child in love. <laughs> sorry guys hold on just a second all right, guys. Sorry about that. My dog is she's in, she's feeling better. She was sick and she's feeling better today. And she's definitely got some friskiness to her. Wow. This is crazy that this came out. The sense of anxiety is arising. There you are, Leo, making an appearance, appear, appearance. What is an appearance? Making an appearance in your reading. Yeah, there's an anxiety here. Like, I feel like this is you thinking that this person only has something little to offer you. This is your thought. You won't look at it because you're like, no, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want something that's deeper than that. And it's like, you're worried about it. And I feel like you want to succeed. Like there's a sense of wanting to succeed, but you're anxious because you're not even sure of what's coming. And so source is telling you to just be patient at this time because there is going to be a sense of clarity that comes through. Also, there's a secret and I feel like you're the one that's holding the secret not a bad secret. I'm not getting like a bad secret from this. This could just be, yeah, okay. That makes sense. 
Yeah, it could just be because you feel like there was some injustice done to you in the past. And so, and it could be in regards to this secret, something that you have, you know, maybe you have a kid, maybe you don't have a kid, maybe you have like a business that you're keeping under wraps that's just starting to take off and you don't want to tell this person about it because in the past they, you know, somebody really did you wrong when it came to your business. And sources saying like, don't be so worried about what has happened in the past. Rather spend time healing that and knowing that it had to happen for your highest good in order for you to get where you are now. There's a sense of feeling successful and that the the tide's going to turn in your favor regardless. Look at that. What did I say? Like, I felt like this had to do with the relationship and we're clarified by the lovers here. Yeah, there's definitely this sense of, of feeling like I'm afraid. And then, <laughs> oh my God, I love when Source does this, like totally tapped in, right? The eight of pennant or the eight of coins here, it's in reverse, not wanting to work. It's like, and there's a sense of excessive spending coming through. Like, this is the fear. This is in your head. You want to manifest something different listening to your intuition and finding some sense of clarity. Like, absolutely. Like, there's this sense of being tuned in. But it's like you're afraid to look at this situation that was offered to you because you feel like it's just going to be a repeat of the, the past. And you're worried about that. So maybe somebody hurt you really badly. Maybe somebody just did you wrong. Maybe somebody was you know, just unfair in the way that they approached you. Yeah, spiritual defeat. Unable to decide what you want, right? Maybe you have more than one offer. But I feel like this is definitely connected to the mother wound. And it's like being in the upright, you're going to have spiritual success here. You know, the lovers, everybody says, well, in the Rider weight Tarot, the lovers is about being in love, okay? But in mine, it's more about being spiritually in tune with your higher self, with your guides, with your angels, with source. You know, when we're in love with source, we're able to invite real love into our lives. Okay. And it's like, you have seven here is in the reverse, the chariot. And this could, you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Scorpio. You could be dealing with another Leo, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Don't have to be. Could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus. But there's this sense of being like unable. Oh, there you are strongly coming in. Yeah, being unable to decide what you want to do with your life because of romantic frustration. Like this is this is you being stuck in a past situation and it had to do with money. Again, being confirmed that it had to do with money. You know, the this is your energy, this Knight of Wands here. This is, I have you guys out on the table here, right? And this is your energy along with strength and the sun. And the thing is, is that when the Knight of Wands comes out, not only is he one of my more romantic knights, it's he's also the one that's the most stable. And so when your own energy is in the reverse, it's just talking about how you've lost some sense of inner stability here. And you're definitely a highlight in this reading. But it's like you're the one, honestly, at this point, Leo, you're the one that's being stuck in your mindset because you've been hurt so badly in the past. And you don't feel like you're on the same level as whoever it is that's come in. But at the same time, you also are acting that same way. Interesting, we would get the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, this is about listening to a deeper sense of within you. Listening to your heart. Listening to who you are. Listening to the guidance that's being given to you from Source. Because there's something more that's coming in here. There's something more than what you see with your own two eyes. And there's something more than you know. So maybe this person you don't really know very well. But again, if you're trying to overcome a really bad heartbreak... Even though there's no cups cards on the table here, we have romantic frustration. Like somebody did you dirty in the past. Somebody did you dirty and it had to do with a very uh, passionate relationship. And maybe it was a relationship that you saw going a long, long way. And it's like you have to heal from that. It's like the chariot's just looking off into the present moment. Just kind of like, wow, like this present moment is still reflective of what's happened. And with your energy here, it's like you're blocking off trying to deal with it from the past. You're afraid of that. But, wow, okay. <laughs> the sun coming out again. It's gonna, you're gonna get 
something is going to be shown the light on here. It's like there's going to be darkness removed. Oh my gosh, look at you, Leo. Your energy coming in again. Again, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aquarius. You don't have to be, but these are the energies of the world card. It's like you're going to... Look, something's going to happen. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I really have been living in the past. I really have been afraid of losing my money. I really have been afraid of somebody just coming in because they want to spend my money. And you realize that maybe I did manifest this. And maybe the reason that I manifested this is because I was so afraid of it. You know, the magician in my deck, he's actually holding a coin and he's holding a wand. And it's like he's only wanting to manifest passion and material success and you have so it's interesting because we have the high, the the pope s underneath the magician and i feel like that's what you want to manifest is you want to manifest somebody who is this this priestess energy right somebody that is intuitive somebody that's a aware of what's going on but at the same time you're afraid because you're still looking into the past but then boom look we still have the ace of swords coming through in the upright here twice in your reading one two one so you may see 1221 a lot a lot in your journey and that's just showing that like whoever it is that you have in your mind it's like they're mirroring you it's like i think they're afraid of the same things like somebody only wants them for like being that this was a very passionate sexual relationship maybe on the other side this person is afraid that you only want them for their sex yeah, you were manipulated. You were manipulated by a queen of wands. So, oh, you chose this person over the person that you're thinking of. Wow, that came in so strong here. Like the sun was trying to shine on the situation to complete your world here. It's like you asked and you prayed for somebody that was going to come in. And it's like instead you chose this queen of wands and they manipulated you. And they definitely took your money. They definitely did you wrong it could have been an aries it doesn't have to be but that's the energy that we have here you know it could have been an aries coming in and they really like filled you with a sense of self-hate self-distrust like you couldn't trust yourself anymore after this and you really had this feeling like there's a deep sense it's like this feeling of that all that the future is going to bring is sexual partners okay i guess those two want to come out this one first yeah, look at this. So the three of pentacles or the three of coins in reverse over the lovers here. It's just saying that, and it was a disillusion of a partnership. It fell apart. They may have had you in third party situations. They may have done things behind closed doors. It's interesting because this is the same kind of message that I got when I did my Leo's the last time. And it's just this energy of this person they didn't put you first. It was like you put them first. And in putting them first, they went to somebody else. They went to somebody else. And there was a there was a misbalance between your own energies here. Look at that. We have the eight of wands coming out in the reverse. Anxiety. Fear. Again, completely confirming everything that's been going on here. It's like this sense of fear that you'll never reach an abundant state or that you'll never have somebody to share it with because you don't feel like you deserve whoever this high priestess is. Maybe you know them, maybe you don't know them, but you don't feel like in the, at the now moment that you actually deserve this high priestess. Look at this. You have the king of wands in the bottom of the deck in the upright. Yeah, look at this. Like You really thought that you two were meant to be together, whoever this was that came into your life. But actually, before I shuffle, we have the the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And the Knight of Cups is the one that has the most shallow sense of love. What did I say? Like, I felt like this was connected to the mother wound. Like, we have the Knight of Cups. I'm going to put these back. I just want to show these to you, though. We have the Knight of Cups. Like, this person offered you shallow love. You now, everybody says he's the most romantic in the deck. You know what? His cup is the most shallow out of all the cups cards. Like he has so little to offer and he's very superficial. It's all about how they appear on the outside. Then you have the page of coins coming out. And it's like, again, they offered you something very immature, another page card. And why is that? Because they had a mother wound reflecting your own mother wound. And this is like child neglect. This is... Uh, something something dangerous is looming and so they could have gotten you involved in a really shitty ass situation and maybe something legal something legal they could have maybe gotten you involved in 
a divorce, this could be a child custody, this could be, you know, a situation of um, just not, you know, like maybe you guys had a business together and they really took you for all you were worth, you know, definitely something involving money, like they wanted to tie you down in regards to money and they did their best to do that. And so there's this sense of like, oh, Leo, look at that. Another ace card coming through. Yeah, there's this sense of fear that your money that you're making, like I, you are about to come up into something that's very stable, very secure, very abundant. And that's what I think is like, you're going to gain clarity and then not everybody is after you for your coin. There are absolutely a lot of people after you for your coin, but you have to find confidence in yourself again and understanding that you are worthy of having something that's balanced out. You know, there's somebody out there for you, Leo, that, oh, what did I say? Shallow love. And then here we go. Wanted to come out in the reverse. Look at that. Did this person come back around? Concerned with only face value. Like in the upright, it is a big gesture, but in the upright, it's more of they're going to say everything you want to say and they're going to tell you all these sweet things. Like I always say is like the one that whispers sweet nothings in your ear because they want something from you and they only can offer this to you because of the past that they've had. When it comes out in the reverse again, it's just clarifying that superficial love. It's like this is something that is so like it's I heard the left side field like it was crazy how that came out but yeah they just basically it's like they learn the things that you like and then they mirror those back to you and so it's almost like that narcissistic energy but this person is just really good at mirroring people so they can get what they want from life and it's not necessarily a good thing right and look at that they were tricking you they tricked you into fall to to following their path and it was because of money. Like, that's the only reason why they did this. And so it was like, now you feel like everybody's offering you this same kind of love. Like, it's definitely a deep-rooted fear that's being revealed here. It's okay to love. Like, like I think that's a thing. When you get your heart broken so many times, Leo, it's like, it's... And then with if, if you happen to be uh, masculine on this video, whether you're a woman or a man, it's the thing is there's very masculine energies coming out here representing you. So you guys are already masculine signed by trait. And the thing is, is in that masculinity, what happens is, is that it demascul, it, it demascul, what's the word? <laughs> it makes you feel not masculine. I don't know. There's a word for it. And it like demasculizes, I think is the word. But if I'm wrong, whatever, you guys can tell me down below. I just, it's one of those things. But it just, it makes you feel as less than a person. And it's hard for you to begin to even show your feelings again after that. And so there's like this sense of fighting against yourself. It's like no matter how much you romanticize and you want to romanticize, it's just a fear that, you know, the thing is, is that somebody's going to offer you that same love. And you know what? Maybe somebody did offer you that same love. I am getting another storyline here that somebody offered you love, but you didn't want to take it because you were so afraid they were going to be like somebody else. And then somebody else came in that was very sexually appealing to you and you went with them. And now you're in a really weird situation. What do we got coming out here? So we have... This is interesting. We have the six of coins coming out in the reverse again. So pro proliferated spending, not having a rainy day fund, somebody just spending money for the heck of spending money. And here's the deal. I think this is not you. I think this is you trying to please whoever this queen of wands was in your life. And it really puts you in a tight bond, bind. And the thing is, is it puts you in a really upsetting situation and you didn't want to be there. And so here's your energy coming out again. We have the six of wands saying that it's in the upright which is good but it's just saying that you're on your you're on your way to having a life of luxury okay like there's a sense of being in a life of luxury having the things that you want again with this ace of coins here it's like trying to send you off into a place but oh my god look at this you have to heal from not trusting yourself and not doing what was best for you we have the seven of coin in the reverse, the Pope S in reverse, and judgment here. So saying you have to heal from the things that didn't serve you. 
and get out of the sense of feeling like you're entrapped in a situation, right? The four of swords in the reverse so that you can bring hope back in, right? Get away from people who treat you like you're theirs to control. You're the king of the jungle, Leo. Like you need to stand in your own power. You can't let other people have their power over you. Like that just puts you in a very weird situation. Again, it's like you're ruled by the sun. It's like the sun is the, the deity that brings us all life, right? And when you're not in your power, it's just like, where are you? You're just not even lit up. You're dimming your own light. Okay, I feel like these are the ones. So what do we got here? Glow up. Yeah, you're about to hit a glow up. And I'm going to tell you, it's because of this situation. It's because of this situation. You're going to hit a glow up. Like, And it could be that maybe you go back to that, that high priestess or the popess in the upright here, right? It's like, it's what you want. This is definitely looking like you here manifesting that in your life. But it's like, you're still just afraid. You're afraid that this person only wants you for your money. But I'm not getting that sense. Like she, whoever this character is, man or woman, they just know. Like they know that there's more to you than what you have in your pockets. Oh my God, this had to come out. Sexual healing. What did I say? Like you were, you were attracted to this person only because they're very sexual. They're very like appealing to you and that was the only reason that you went to them so again there's like this sense of healing yourself sexually again connecting with your sacral chakra which will help you get in touch with your solar plexus chakra if your sacral chakra is off it keeps you from being in your own creative energy it says there will not they will not be there for your journey it's okay to let go they will not be there for your journey it's okay to let go yeah, this person is not meant to be on this journey with you. I feel like that's the thing. And maybe you've got yourself in a situation where you feel like you're going to have to deal with them for forever. But source is saying it's like, no, well, as soon as you let go, like they're going to they're going to set it up for themselves. So they bunk out of your life like they don't care. Love is patient. Love is kind. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing. Like you have to learn how to be patient if you want something, then you have to be patient for it. You can't just expect the next person that walks in. Or the person that meets your criteria. I think this is a thing. The person that meets your criteria on the outside, you can't imagine that that person is going to be the one that's there for you. I can't say that they won't, but 99% of the time, it's that person that meets your outwardly criteria is the one that's actually the worst person for you. It's always the one that surprises you the most. You need spiritual fulfillment. Yeah, what did I say? You felt spiritually defeated. So I feel like that's why you turned down this high priestess because or the popes is because you were in this energy of being spiritually defeated it was almost like not believing in anything like how can i believe in something when i keep going through these crazy things right oh my gosh they are meant to be with you as i was talking about the the popes they're meant to be with you yeah like you have somebody that you have turned down this this is the energy of being turned down like the, you're the one that went after somebody you went at look like you're looking right here at this queen of wands here you're looking at them it's like this is your energy here it's actually sagittarius energy but this is you over the sun it's like you really thought you were going to have the world with this person and then when you chose them like shit hit the fan they put you in a third party situation you were worried about everything it's like they wanted your money they only controlled your money yeah this is about you finding strength to recreate to snake is about shedding old skins and coming up into a new place and that's not always easy that's not always easy it's the number 743 right S talking about having luck over th the chariot here it's like 777 seven, seven is a powerful number for you and then learning your own inner beauty i think this is important for you leo because i feel like even though you're very confident in who you are, it's easy for you to compare yourself to others because if you see others in a glow up, you're immediately in this defensive energy of like, why am I not there? And it's just everybody has a different timing for their own glow up, for their own journeys. And some people aren't even on the journey at all. And you might think that they are. And I think that's the thing. It's like Source is just trying to tell you, like, embrace your own beauty and understand where you are, trusting where you are, the number two, right? Have faith in the journey. Find balance within yourself. Nurture. 
Nurture yourself, Gaia, right? Mother Earth is all about nurturing yourself, being kind and loving to yourself, going out and spending time in nature, seeing things grow. Sometimes I think that's what helps you plant yourself back on the ground so that you can activate your soul purpose, right? So that you can activate that truth within you. It's like bringing in the changing of the seasons because it's like right now I think you're so worried about getting to a certain aspect and this ace of coins honestly these both want to come out I'll take them you're trying to get to this ace of coins so fast that you're just kind of missing steps along the way and it's in those missteps I think that you feel that you failed and really you haven't failed you're learning lessons you're learning lessons from them Leo and that's something to embrace too, just being thankful for those lessons that you've learned. Yeah, maybe this person was very, very narcissistic. Maybe this person was very manipulative. Maybe this person didn't even care about you like they said they did. And that hurts. And I'm not saying it doesn't hurt because I know it hurts. But at the same time, being thankful that now you know what you don't want, right? At least I hope you do. I hope you know what you don't want and that you can focus on what instead you do want instead of being stuck in this energy of like always worried about what i don't want what i don't want what i don't want you know what you don't want you know what you don't want to go through anymore but can you focus now on what you do want you want a partner who is there for you you want a partner who stands next to you you want a partner that you know brings you love that brings you equality not put you in third party situations or try to steal your ideas. Like I keep getting this energy of somebody trying to steal your ideas. The only real, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Seven coming out again. Seven, seven, seven is a very powerful number for you. Look, seven and eight coming out. Like this is crazy. And I shuffle these cards all the time, so they, it's weird when they come out next to each other. It says, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Look, underneath beauty, it's like they want you to understand that you're an amazing individual, okay? And then we have 10 Sisters of Light, which is 33, a master number coming out, number six again. So six and seven are very powerful for you. I am going to read the only thing that is real is love. And then I will read this card to you guys. These cards are so profound. Like they just really bring in that completion to the situation. So we have shift your focus back to love. You may have been conditioned to dwell on problems. What was I just saying? Stop focusing on what you don't want and focus on what you do want. Boom. Source is like, I got you. Don't even worry about it. It is important to remember the true reality is love. Choose to take a deep breath and focus on what is true. Negativity will disappear when you affirm everything is okay when I choose love. There are many things that you can do to shift into a more loving flow. Work at having healthy, encouraging conversations with yourself and others. Squash any negative inner dialogue and notice the positive aspects and people in your life. Be realistic about what is going on in your life. Yes, only love is real, but there is sadness, depression, doubt, worry, and anger. This card is about finding balance in your life so the challenging times are not overwhelming and you are able to remember that love is at the core of everything. There are multiple images in this card that symbolize peace, love, and support. Find and meditate on something that you are optimistic about. And if you need to, go ahead and pause the video. But it's interesting that it was talking about finding balance because the number six is about finding balance and seeing yourself through the eyes of the divine, right? Like it's, it's a power number. It's a number that reminds you that you are light and love, that you come from somewhere and in that coming from somewhere, you've always been loved your whole life. Even if right now you don't feel loved and look, we have a lot of blue coming out, finding your truth. Connecting with your solar plexus here and connecting with your crown chakra so that you can listen to your intuition moving forward. You guys may hear the various clocks that are around here. So it says, the ten sisters of light. You are an advanced soul and have lived many incarnations. You've shown your light through many different faces. Your soul has learned many skills in past lives, developed abilities and talents. This lifetime is a culminating lifetime in the sense that your soul is drawing together potencies developed over many lifetimes to unified expression. It is like drawing on the power of ten sisters or more into your one current lifetime. 
be prepared to grow and to shine beloved what did i say you're about to go in a glow up like absolutely perfect it says the higher self likes to integrate the wisdom it has gleaned over many experiences and lifetimes so that nothing is lost and all is enhanced you're in the process of a spiritual weaving and integration at a soul level now. And this means that skills and abilities that you hardly recognize consciously will become more obvious to you. You may find that you know things from different traditions that you have no recollection of ever learning. You may feel strangely drawn to study different healing arts or martial arts, martial arts, for example, only to find that it is somehow familiar to you. Be patient, open, and trusting of this journey. It is an intense time of spiritual growth as the integration there is also shedding of old issues or pain that no longer serves you. It is good to let this go. You are being asked to encourage the activation of past life abilities in your current lifetime by letting go of past pains and issues, even if you are not consciously fully aware of what they are. Though through releasing the pain with breath out of the heart chakra and anywhere else in the body or energy field you intuitively feel to do so okay it's like telling you that you're about to come up that glow up actually has to do with being enhanced through your own spiritual powers right you spiritually defeated and the reason you were spiritually defeated is so that you could grow and come up into the power of bringing in all these intuitive knowings together, of all these lessons that you've had through very many lifetimes together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Again, making sure you're always speaking your truth. Not what your ego wants to say, but what your heart wants to say. That's very important for you in this time, Leo, while you go through this glow up. That's very important for finding some sense of balance on your glow up journey, okay? This is actually a beautiful reading. I'm sorry you've had to experience this heaviness, but just knowing that it came for purpose so that you could find out the truth of who you are on this journey. And just know that I'm sending you out so much light and love and encouragement at this time. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here. But until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Leos, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.